Okay, welcome to uh, Thirsty Five Brewing here. We're going to be making a wheat beer today. And I'm going to go through some of uh, the different processes it takes. I'm going to be doing the uh, measurement of the grain here. And basically this recipe calls for four pounds of two roll uh, malted barley and four pounds of wheat malt. So I'll show you here what I have in a minute, um, my scale and how I weigh out the grain. Okay, what you see here is I've got a large bowl, just a plastic bowl, and I've got a digital food scale here you can pick up at uh, any kitchen supply store. And uh, what you want to do, if you can see the display here, we'll turn on the scale. Put the bowl on there beforehand, it'll zero out, we'll switch it over to pounds. And there you can weigh out your grain that way. I'm going to use this little scoop here, this little scoop as a uh, scoop to scoop the grain in there and uh, I'll show you how that works. Um, what we got here is 10 pounds of the two row brewer's malt. Um, I like to buy it in 10 pound bags because it's less um, less than a 50 pound bag and more than a 1 pound bag and uh, uh, 1 pound bags are usually twice uh, the cost per pound than what you pay for either in a 10 pound bag. Um, a 50 pound bag, your pounds per grain is a lot less, but I don't like to store that much grain at a time right now. A um, good way to go about getting a 50 pound per bag is to go through a bulk purchase um, either with a brewing club, local brewing club, or a local brewery. Sometimes they do that. So what we're going to do is measure out about four pounds of the strain right into the right into the bowl here. And if you can see the display there, we're at about a pound. I think this bowl holds about two or three pounds. We'll see if we can get four pounds in there. We're at one point, almost two now. Looks like it's going to hold about two pounds. Um, when you buy your scale, I would suggest, and I didn't do this when I bought this scale, is to get a scale that has a digital readout on um, maybe decimal um, pounds. This one goes into ounces and then quarters of an ounce. So it's a little tricky to get real precision, but you know what? If you're a half an ounce or an even an ounce over, it's not going to make that much difference. So what we'll do is we'll measure this out. Oop, there we got four pounds. We can take a little bit out. We're about four ounces heavy. We're about an ounce over. Oop, now we're a little short. There we're at four and a quarter. All right, now we're going to mill our grains. Um, what I have here is a Corona type mill in a uh, five gallon bucket, and we're going to use a we're going to use this uh, battery powered drill. You can use a, pa a regular power drill to do this. This one actually has some uh, slow speed, high speed. My uh, regular plug in the wall drill is basically one speed. So what I got in here is a Corona mill in a five gallon bucket. What I did is I put a two by four inside of the bucket to mount the mill on. Here we can get in here and make adjustments if need be. Tighten this down a little bit. Looks like it's been getting loose on me. And uh, that's what it looks like on the inside. Put this lid on here so we don't get grain flying everywhere. We'll have a little bit flying everywhere. On this end, I put a bolt in there. It's The socket is a half inch. Um, I'm not sure exactly what size it is. Um, you can uh, look that up online if you want. But I just put a bolt, a bolt in there where the handle used to be. And this is basically how you grind your grain. Um, I've got it set up fairly tight to make some uh, make a good uh, a good grind. 
just scoop some of this out of the bucket and then apply the drill like this. It's going to make a lot of racket and shoot some grain out, but here we go. Whoop, better turn that up. Whoa! So that looks like that wheat is a little harder than I anticipated. We'll check the grind here after we get some of this ground. Some folks put hoppers on top of these things. Um, if you want to spend the time, you can do that. Um, I don't know how they work, if they work any better or not, but this is basically how you go about grinding some grain. Alright, now we've ground all the grain. We'll open up the top here and see the grist that we just created. Um, like I said, you probably want to do this outside or in the garage somewhere where you can sweep this up. You don't want to do this in the house unless you like uh, grain dust all over your house. But here's what we got for a grind. We still have some hulls intact. I don't see, um, let's see, I don't see any kernels. Uh, looks like we've got most of the kernels broken. Got some flour in there. Looks like a pretty good grind. Um, so yeah, this is going to work pretty well for us. Um, you got to adjust your mill till you feel it right about the grind. Um, like I said, you want to have some husks intact. Some folks don't like to use this type of mill because it tends to shred the husks. But I haven't had any problems with efficiency or uh, stuck sparges with uh, this type of mill. So that's, uh, that's what we got for a grind for today. We'll take this and uh, add this to our mash ton here in a little bit and we'll see how the mash goes.